Hey guys, so interestingly enough, Apple has just released another beta, the first beta of the year 2024, iOS 17.3 beta 2. Now this is interesting because I can't remember the last time Apple released a new beta or software update the first week of an incoming year. This is entirely new to me. If you remember any time Apple releasing a new software the first week of an incoming year, then let me know in those comments down below because I think this is the first time this has happened. Apple definitely changing the schedule of this year and this is a good thing obviously because this means that iOS 17.3 production has started early which means Apple plans to push this update sooner rather than later we'll talk about the expected release date for this software I was actually expecting this beta to release next week but now that Apple released this week it looks like Apple intends to release this software update sooner rather than later now aside from iOS 17.3 Apple also updated the iPads with iPad OS 17.3 beta 2, Mac OS 14.3 Beta 2, Watch OS 10.3 Beta 2, and of course TV OS 17.3 Beta 2 is now available as well. Now with this software update, there's two major new features planned. Number one, in Apple Music, Apple has re-enabled collaborative playlists. So if we go into Apple Music, we go into a playlist, we can now re-enable that collaborative playlist option, and we also have emoji reactions for songs within the collaborative playlist, just like so. Now, another major feature coming to iOS with 17.3 is stolen device protection. Now, the purpose of this feature is to protect you from someone that may steal your phone and also know the passcode to unlock your phone. And now I'll talk about this one because there's some minor changes I've noticed within the latest beta. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So stolen device protection requires face ID authentication in order to, you know, bypass your passcode and change your Apple ID password on your device. So if we go into settings and we go into iCloud settings and someone happens to steal your phone, they can go into signing and security and change your Apple ID password. But with stolen device protection that is no longer possible. This also has a security delay built in, which in the second beta for me is now working. Now, some users have told me that they did get this to work on the first beta, but it did not work for me on the first beta. It is now working for me on the second beta. So let's say someone steals your phone, right? And they happen to know your passcode. They can go into face ID and passcode, enter your passcode, and then of course, go ahead and turn on off that stolen device protection option but I try to turn it off on the second beta and this is what I get I get a countdown so time remaining this is the security delay is in progress now this security delay does not happen if you're at home or a recognized location like work as well so just keep in mind that for me this is now working on a beta 2 some users did say that security delay was working in beta 1 but I now managed to get this one to actually populate and work properly for me in the second beta again this feature is to protect you in the unlikely case that someone tries to steal your phone and turn off security delay then right here you'll see that the timer will start and it won't let you turn off the feature unless the timer has started and then you can go back of course and turn it off after the timer has expired. So now let's talk about the official release dates and the next beta. Well, as I mentioned, Apple releasing another beta at the beginning of the year, the first week of the new year. This means that Apple is looking to push this software out to the general public sooner rather than later. So we can expect another beta most likely next week on the 9th or the 10th of January with a follow-up of the gold master or release candidate, I should say, and then the official release before the end of the month. My money is on January. 29th for the official release of iOS 17.3 to the general public. And that about brings it into this video. I'll continue digging around the software. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my follow-up and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!